did just get that update from the police department identifying this victim who was tragically shot and killed in the capital city last night. We have the identity of that victim. It's 31-year-old Herberto Garcia. I apologize if I'm not saying that name correctly. But people waking up to another tragic and sad morning here in the capital city. Again, this is all unfolding on Babcock Street. This is at the intersection with Capitol Avenue, literally steps away from the Capitol building. I want to step out of the way and show you the scene, what's going on, because a lot of the cars have left the scene at this point. But if you take a look down the street, that's where this investigation is still unfolding. It looks like we've got one police car that is still out there, as well as a truck. We're not sure what type of truck that is, but they've got their flashers on at this point. Looks like those are the only two vehicles that are still on scene. This happening again at the end of Babcock Street. And per that last update, so just after 1130 last night, dispatch got that 911 call reporting a man who was unresponsive in a car here at the end of Babcock Street. Officers arriving on scene to find that man shot in the car. He was taken to the hospital where he sadly died. And as of that last update, police say they do have leads in this case. So this investigation is moving along. So that is some good news. And of course, this coming after a weekend full of gun violence that rocked the capital city. Two young people, a 16 year old and a three year old tragically shot and killed. One of those vigils literally held last night. And then on Tuesday night, we know there was another shooting on Nelson and Main Street where a man was injured. And after all this violence, we had a group of state senators from Hartford, Bridgeport and West Haven come together yesterday, calling on Governor Lamont to increase funding to statewide violence prevention programs. Here's some of that message. We know that uh, President Biden has put aside five million dollars for youth gun violence prevention programs. We want to make sure where that money comes here. It's not nickel and dimed. It's not a little bit here and a little bit there, but there's a master plan on how you address that. Some kids told me that they couldn't even sit down to do their homework in front of their desk because the minute they picked up the cell phone to go to go answer it, a bullet flew through the window where she had been sitting. Just some really powerful messages there. We've been hearing those powerful messages really all week long at this point since those shootings in the capital city over the weekend. And back here on Babcock Street, again, this investigation is still underway. Police tell us that no arrests have been made. And we do know that this one marks the city's ninth homicide of the year. Reporting live in Hartford, I'm Angela Bavaro, Fox 61 News.